On everything, you yes, know? you do. Yes, you do. Man, you know, that was good. I don't discriminate, right? Right, we like you to know? motivate. What up, that's girl? What up, family? What's up? What's up? Oh, it's to the morning. Year. Hey, man, wait, wait, wait. Hey, what you got to say, it's it's a Virgo morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Every time is like the first time. You know what I mean? I love that. I, I know, love that. I know. Man. I know. And you know, I just made this too. See, you like my latte? Got the foam on oh, top. Oh, you got the frog rolling deep into the bowl. So that, that's like, that is like a bowl. You don't be playing. You don't be messing with it. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, I got to throw my little, uh, my throwback for, the, for home, man. This is an old school. They don't even make these no more. This is a Blackhawks fan. Shy town hockey at its finest. You see the the uh the, the depletion the of the mug oh, yes. oh, is yes. real, is rugged, and it's yeah. raw. Shy yes. town in the house. Chicago, huh? You talking about Chicago? We always have to rip for Chicago. Woo! I, I do I think I do have a Chicago cup. I'll have that one out. You got to have one. I have one. Okay. Next okay. next week I'll have the Chicago mug. Okay. Shoot, good I have so deal. many mugs. Good but I got to tell you about this artist, yo. Oh, yeah, hit me. What was the so, business? Remember, I was telling you about Twitter. I don't really like Twitter, but I'm starting to like Twitter. I'm like, tweet, 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 because I'm getting all these tweet, 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 no, tweet, 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 right. So I was like, OK, yeah, OK. Tweet I said, I'm, like, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do this Twitter thing, because I think it's like, whatever, boring. But then I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to try something else. So you know my radio and all. For those who don't know Latte Down mm. Radio, guys need to tune in. Go to my link, my bio. Check it out. It's the business. Anyway. So I'm, you know, I'm, I, what I try to do is I have all the independent, independent artists' music, right, being played. 
my radio is on 24 7. so what happens is every time a song comes on um every 15 maybe 30 minutes mm. their music pops up on twitter okay. and it will have the name of the artist and the song okay so it just be running all day so people listening to it, and if they like it, you know, they respond to it. If not, they don't. But at the bottom, you will see radio, right? Right, right. So when it does that, I got a couple of tweets. So this one guy, who I just played right now, named Valdazzi. Mm. I'm just going to put his name out there. Put his name Valdazzi. out there. Okay? Excellent, yeah. Valdazzi, yeah. right? And he right, was like, right. yo, you know, man, I want you to check out my song. And I was like, why is he calling me man? I'm a woman. So I told him I'm a woman, but I'm going to check it out anyway. I ain't tripping, you know. Right, right. It's a man's world. But anyway, <laughs> I ain't tripping. So right. I said, okay, I'll check it out. So I turn it on, and I hear the song, hey, and I was, I was like, oh, hell yes. Oh. Yeah. Start off like that, I was like, I was sold. Woo. So I listened to the whole EP. Okay, okay. So anyway, I reached out to him, told him I loved it, tweeted it, said it in the, tw in the Twitter comments, and um, I'm like, I want to interview you. So we will be chatting yes. next month. <laughs> yes, in yes. Africa. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm, I'm talking about. Go to Africa. Ain't nothing wrong with it now. Ain't nothing wrong with the Ivory Coast. Okay. It gets so, down. Yes. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you are an independent artist and you haven't sent me your music, I don't know what y'all doing. Yeah, y'all gotta get I with it. Get Send on. it to her because she's definitely gonna make the move to put it out there. You put in the minimal effort, Latte gonna put in the maximum. Uh that's just the business we like to do. Uh exactly. independent music, man. Independent music. And you know what? I love the fact that Twitter, I didn't even know Twitter gives you a little acknowledgement. Like, yeah, nice job. I posted it this morning. It's like, oh, hey, this has been viewed 121 times. I was like, oh, well, wow. You can't get that with a bet. No, yeah. that's business. That's business. So, so that's just going to challenge me even more. I'm like, right. all right, all right. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you. So now I'm going to have more independent artist music on there. And I got a couple of other uh, independent artists <laughs> under my sleeve. <laughs> okay, okay. Now what you <laughs> You must have you. Somebody has to be feeding you these artists. So, is there a title for this this particular position? And somebody is is giving you this exquisite, independent, creative music. Well, word on the street is oh, the sugar streets. Latte Java drips. No, on that street is called Cappuccino Streets, right? Ah, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> So um, he's he's a music agent, my secret agent. He's called the Hot Shots. Woo! Okay, okay. Yeah, the Hot Shots. Hot Shots. And they yes, make sure yes, you get yes. that feed. Okay. Yeah, and he, you know, yeah, he lets me know what's going on from all around the world. We we might have a a, a musical thing going on, but I'm not gonna put it out there yet. Okay. I'm gonna wait till January, and everybody gonna have a passport. But I'm a, I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, that's for the, that's a new business, new year, right? Absolutely. Bang. Okay, because okay. we're gonna go all over the world. Okay. Okay, because I'm. We gonna already have right some in international know. folks hanging starting yes. in January on Latte Java Drips Radio, so you know. Yeah. You oh, know yeah. how yeah, we yeah. do. Okay. And you know that coffee is a must. Because <laughs> that's how I get the work done. Yes, <laughs> yes, she does. But anyway, how you brewing? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm brewing a hundred percent octane. Everything is smooth as a baby's bottom. You can start it, but you can't stop them. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Everything is rolling, and uh, you know things are looking good. It was a a highly productive week, man. I was able to lock down uh, a couple of promo videos, uh, okay. a nice commercial. Uh, we prepping this band to start sort of this little mini tour. Uh, what? It, it was funky, yeah. I mean, they, you know, I'm blessed. I just, I, I can't complain. You know, things are sounding good. We, we tweaking, tweet, <laughs> fine tuning. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna be busting out a couple of things here and there uh, as the weeks uh, progress here. 
to uh, get everybody sort of up on the movement, the the, the Chuck Chu Chatillion intimate evening situation. Oh. You know what I mean? We want to lay back and let everybody feel good and smooth and just, you know, vibe, man. Just okay. Vibe. That's it. We about That's that vibe, it. though. Yes. You know, I don't know. It must be a Chicago thing. I don't know. It's an East Coast thing, Midwest thing. I don't know. It it's gotta be something in the water. You know must what I'm be. Damn, this coffee is good. But um, you know, we mentioned taste. about the coffee roasters, but we're gonna oh. talk about that toward the end because okay. we have a special guest, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, Scorpion goddess, you guys. Woo! You're in the building. Okay. In the building. I should be turning on my little sound effects. We're going to do that next week. Next week, sound effects. <laughs> I'm going to load it up. Yep. Yes. All right. Yes. Mm. I'll make a note. <laughs> Rebecca, sound effects next week. That's what I told you last time. All exactly. Right. We, we, we get it happening. All right. <laughs> Man, my, my intern will be tripping. She does trip. She don't listen. So we're going to do that. She probably want. She probably need more, more ends, more monies. So I think you probably. Hey. Right. Hey. hey, Scorpion Goddess is in the house, you guys. What's going on? Excellent. Hey. It's such a pleasure. I'm glad you uh, invited me back on yes. second time. That's, so that's right. Yeah. Yes, she was on Station Head. So last year we oh, did. Oh yeah, that's right. And I was like, head. how am I supposed to get on this? Because I didn't have, I still don't have an iPhone. I was like, how am I supposed to do this? Like, it's not, it doesn't work with my phone. Well, but girl, we made it work. We made it work. Yes, you did. Yes, you, you did. did. But now they have Android. <laughs> they, they do. Oh yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> how you guys doing? So far, so good. Good to see you. Yeah. Most definitely. So. We're talking about uh, Virgos because we are both Virgos. Uh, yeah. You yes, know, yes, yes. and we don't want people to think this is a Virgo show. We're just giving you our Virgo, you know, personality. We're just giving you, you know, we're so analytical and we like to talk a lot of BS and, we, and our sarcasm <laughs> is on point. And we think, you know, why not call it a Virgo morning show because we are Virgos and we do what we do. And then I was thinking, man. I need to give my girl a call, Scorpion Goddess, because she knows a lot about horoscopes, astrology, and, and we're not experts. We're not, we're, no. we don't have the expertise <laughs> like you do. No. You know, <laughs> we, we just like to toot our own horn, be like, you know, Beyonce, yeah, Beyonce, yeah, you know. So we, I figured, you know, call on the expert to come through. And you're the one, so tell us what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Well, first, wait. Um, Charles. Yes. Who did you choose? Your Virgo. Well, my Virgo uh, choice is uh, an artist who I have a deep and profound admiration for out of Chi-Town, Illinois, Miss Jennifer Hudson. That's yeah. who I had to pick. You know what I mean? Yes. And I chose Nas because you know he's so yeah. sick. Nas, if you sing. And, uh, Ooh, he's a, and, and he was born a day before me, September 14th. So oh, you know, I did not know that. Connection there. Got you. Got you. Got you. But, you know, but um, Scorpion Goddess, tell us a little bit about yourself and then we'll, we'll go on. You can tell us, you know, about these celebrities that we love. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so a little background about me. I am a Western tropical astrologer. I am a tarot intuitive reader. I own my own business. Uh, it's called Scorpion Goddess Spiritual Healing. And I help try and help people find their own power from within instead of trying to find things from the external. And so I use energy work and healing tools that way to help find it from within because when we're really trying to find stuff on the outside of us, we're never going to find it. So that's yeah. why I created Scorpion God of Spiritual Healing because I was just like, I was put on this earth in this lifetime to help heal people and really get down to the nitty gritty and the rawness and the ugliness and the shadow work. And when I pulled like my own chart, because when you read astrology, we're more than just like a Virgo sun. Yeah. We, um, based on like the time we were born, the place we were born, there's going to be your own basically like blueprint. And that's what we call a natal chart or a birth chart. And based on how the planets were aligned at that time, it'll really redirect and like, okay, well, this is why I handle my emotions the way I do or why I communicate the way I do or mm -hmm. why I had certain 
traumas in my life and stuff like that you can see all that based on your blueprint and then continuing throughout life of this is what the planets are doing now and we just had a major astrological event actually yesterday at 3 57 a.m eastern standard time we had a full moon in taurus partial luna eclipse which basically means if you everybody looks back into or around may 11th mm. of this year mm -hmm. see three days before three days after what kind of things were you doing at that point what kind of hopes and wishes did you have around that time mm. and then circle back to now and see how is that completed and what is the next phase but because it's also an eclipse energy we're dealing with expect the unexpected and crazy chaotic things to kind of happen and lead us into this major shift and change for the next 18 months wow. so that's a little something of what's happening right now okay is that i just got a quick question is that now what you just described for us is that a a, a, a cycle is that a portion of a cycle of yeah okay so everything so even if you see like behind me i have like my little moon my moon chat. Wow. So there's Very always nice. cycles and phases of the moon. Okay. So like every month we'll have a new moon and then a full moon. And then every couple of years, then we'll have those eclipses or eclipse seasons happen. And that's when they're like, it's time for chaos, major shifts, mm -hmm. major changes that need to be implemented and happen. And depending on whatever sign it's in and the access it's on, it'll have more of that type of energetic pull of what shifts and changes need to happen as, as an umbrella collective, but then you break down individually, looking into your own like natal chat to see, okay, where is this, you know, eclipse station in this sign, and where does that relay in my own chat, and how can I like correlate to be like, okay, so now I understand what's going to happen for me. Yes. So, for example, you guys are Virgos, right? Yes. Now you're lucky with this eclipse; it's not in your access but you're still affected by it you're still affected by it okay. but because you're virgos this eclipse was going to or is affecting your ninth house sector now in astrology i don't want to confuse you guys but we have 12 zodiac signs right, right. 12, also 12 houses okay. and each house is influenced by whatever that zodiac sign is ruled by so We'll start with Aries is the first sign. So Aries is going to be first house mm -hmm. rule. Okay. So we keep going around. So because where the moon was stationed for Virgo, mm. it was stationed in the ninth house. And ninth house has to do with higher learning, higher education, uh -huh. travel. So these kinds of things will be implemented. And for you guys, you may hear like uh, good news with like, a, you know, you passed an exam or you're ready to level up uh, in your career or you're traveling somewhere, yeah. you're trying to book a vacation or some stuff like that. So that's how this eclipse will be affecting Virgos. Okay. Is the ninth house correlated directly to being the ninth month? Or no? Um, no. no. Wait. Okay. Um, Just kidding. No. Okay. No. <laughs> in astrology, <laughs> yes. But like on the calendar, no. no. Because okay. Aries starts usually uh march 21st so in like astrology that's the beginning of the year because it's springtime things are growing blooming it's because it goes based on the seasons in, as in astrology so that's how that kind of works but with like the regular calendar no because january would be the first one got you okay mm -hmm. just coincidental almost okay yeah <laughs> so, you know i'm not surprised about the you know the the education and the intelligence because you know <laughs> we work <laughs> <laughs> we master that. But the problem is that we don't master is love. This is I've noticed that we always have problems when it comes to love and relationships. Mm -hmm. People don't understand <laughs> us. They think that we're a problem. And we're, mm -hmm. not. we're just we're just very direct. We just like things as the way they are. We kind of have a little Gemini ways, I think, in some ways. But we're You guys are both ruled by Mercury, that's why. Mercury is logic and communicating and you guys Mercury uh rules Virgos and Gemini, so that has a lot to do oh, with that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. that's okay, that makes sense. Mercury. Okay. But I always just wonder why I, is it that we start from that? Huh? Someone commented said they, they can tell that I'm from Mass. I am. Oh <laughs> okay. Over there for Boston. <laughs> They can probably hear my accent. Yep. 
I love Massachusetts. Yeah. Well, well I guess. <laughs> is it possible for us to do, should we do uh, the celebrities first? Or because we were looking with Latte and I, we were going to see if you could do like sort of a reading on us. You know, because we're, we're curious. I got, you know, we got some things on, on the uh, horizon coming down. We're, yeah. we're curious. So, mm -hmm. have you, uh... Okay, what kind of reading? Uh, what do you recommend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the show, I could do, like, a fun little, like, I could, um, let's see where my cards are. I have cards all over the place. Give me a second. Oh, sweet. Latte, can she do my homework? <laughs> I know, yeah. I just wanna know if I'm gonna be marrying a millionaire or a billionaire or am I gonna be the millionaire billionaire and I'm gonna have to like, you know, just remain single and Oh, live I know a for life. you I know for you oh shit, I just unplugged my ring light. I know for you personally, um, that because you have a Scorpio rising, mm -hmm. you're gonna be affected by this a lot more because it's on your access and that's triggering 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 your seventh house which rules partnerships and relationships and documents so for the next 18 months there's going to be a huge shift and change in how you run the dynamics in your relationships so that could be a change in if you've been single you could be finding the right person finally or you know you could be like going more into the inner shadow work and figuring out what's the relationship I have with myself and how do I project myself on the outside and then attracting more people that way that you actually want to have in your life. Mm -hmm. So for the next 18 mm -hmm. months, that's how it's going to be affecting you. And it's going to be a more heavier impact just because it's on the Taurus Scorpio axis. And you want to always look at whenever we have things like this happen, moons, moon phases, eclipses, you want to look at your rising sign and then your sun sign because your rising sign is, basically how you pr uh, project yourself like out into the world because it's how you step out. It's your first house. How are you first seen? Mm -hmm. How do you carry yourself as a person? Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, Damn, that's dope. Yeah. I love astrology. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> she very It really is. It really is. Like the dive, the deeper dive, you like get into like your own chat and you're like, what the hell? This makes so much sense. Why I'm like this. Then it helps you understand more people on the outside. Like, oh, this is why my mother's like this. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Hmm. I just really need my most profound uh, wondering is I, I really want to know. If my Amazon packages are coming today, because I've I just I, just, <laughs> I got some equipment and, so and I got to, to the studio. I just need to it's earth shattering, earth shattering. So <laughs> that's fine. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Earl's, you <laughs> <laughs> One came early, so maybe the universe is going to balance it like the others will be late. Nothing come on time. I don't know. The axis. And you know what? I don't even know if you know this, Chucky Chew, that my dad's name is Charles. For real? Great, great man. Great gentleman. Great, great man. Great. Yep. Good. Just good to hear. Oh, hey, Mr. Packages okay. are coming. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, but <laughs> I'm pulling just general general cards to see what's the energy and the vibe for you guys today. And I got the Three of Pentacles. So this is a great day to really get yourself out there, be more social, communicate, collaborate, reach out to the people. I'm seeing like there's going to be a lot of mind racing, fast thoughts, jumping from this thought to that thought to this thought to that thought. Mm -hmm. And there could be um, reaching out to someone who – again, with like these collaborations, reaching out to somebody or someone reaching out to you that wants to connect mm -hmm. to build up into this next stage, this next phase in your life. So I'm seeing that this is kind of the vibe for the weekend mm -hmm. and like going out and doing something fun. You may bump into somebody with networking or something like that for you guys this weekend. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we have the moon in Gemini. So that's perfect with like Let's all talk. Let's speak. Let's let's do this. Let's do that. Let's be social. So this like pulls in that dynamic even more. It, like put gives that little extra oomph in there. Okay. 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 <laughs> the packages are coming. They are coming. <laughs>
<laughs> they're <Yes>. coming. <laughs> you must <laughs> love it. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They Okay, perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. I've always um, vibed a lot more with I've always been drawn more to Virgos uh-huh. and Gemini's like close relationships in my life. So I always like Virgos. All my exes are Virgos though, so that didn't really work out that great. Damn! Oh. Damn. <laughs> All of them. The every single one of them is a Virgo. For real? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> my wow. husband Moon is in Virgo though, oh, so wow. I didn't need a Virgo sun. I needed a Virgo moon. Okay. That's the difference. Moon is your home life. So I needed that. What's on deck for Aquarius during this cycle? I guess uh, we got a, a Haven Hearts here saying, what about Aquarius? What, how are they looking? I don't even have my charts pulled out right now. Oh, I just no. did that ahead of time for Virgos. So if you want to know, hold on, because it goes, the houses go backwards with this. So give me a second to process. It's Aquarius. Give me a second to think about this, and I'll tell you. Okay. Take, take your time. Take your take time. Is Virgo the most social sign? For, uh Aquarius is going to be affected by the fourth house. So you're going to be on the fourth and tenth house axis with the um, eclipse we just had in Taurus. So you're going to be feeling more of your home life, your nurturing, your structure, your foundation is going to be affected. So there may be changes within your home. There could be um, maybe new marriage, birth, reconstruction in the house, or mm-hmm. moving, stuff like that within the next 18 months for Aquarius. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So my packages are coming. Now, um, <laughs> what's, what's on deck? I'm a little curious for uh, Charles. What what am I looking like in the future as far as relationships, things of that that nature? I'm a little I'm a little curious. I just want to I just want to see if I need to uh, jot anything down just to keep some notes as far as what to be aware of. <laughs> for you? For me? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. So you want me to pull cards, or you want me to talk about just the Virgo the astrology aspect of it? Because if you want to know more in depth, I need to pull your entire chart. And break everything down that way. To be like, okay, your sun, you're rising. This is what to expect for the next 18 months. Mm. Um, for the next five months, though, or four, four, five months, yeah, four, five. up until cool. March, we're having Venus go. Well, it's been stationed in Capricorn, which is another Earth sign like Virgo. So that's going to have a positive aspect for you guys. Well, for everyone. For, well, at least for me. Anyways, whatever. So I'm getting something. <laughs> for Virgo. This is another earth sign, so it's going to have a good effect on you. However, I do recommend it's going to be going retrograde, which basically means when a planet goes retrograde, it's kind of, it would look like it's spinning backwards or whatever in astrology. It's really time to go inward instead of trying to go outward to do the work and the relationships and this and this and this. So for Virgos, I would say... There's going to be some shifts and change. No, that's cancer. Hold on. I should have wrote my notes down before I did this, honestly. But with the Venus transit in Capricorn for you guys, it's going to be good where there's going to be, how can I be more pragmatic in my relationships, in my dynamics, in my partnerships with documents and stuff that I write down or sign and stuff. But when you get around the time of December 19th, Mm -hmm. Stay away from signing documents, getting married. If you're going to get married, don't do it around that time. Okay. Do not get into a relationship. Do not hook up with your ex. <laughs> they may pop up around that time because they're reminiscing about the, the old good old days because it's what retrogrades do, especially in Venus. Because Venus is about love, relationships. What's my love language? So when it goes retrograde, it's going to make you think about past stuff, past relationships, things that you, lessons you haven't quite yet figured out. Okay. So don't get into a relationship around December 19th for the those five weeks that it's in retrograde, especially. So I can say that, Dang. especially because you're in fine, you'll okay. feel the effect just like uh, because it's in Capricorn for that time frame. But besides that, mm. 
it'll have good um, energy of being more grounded and stable, which is what you guys need when it comes to relationships because yeah. earth sign, you need that grounding. You need that foundation and Capricorns bring in that pragmatic grounding. What's the goal five years from now? I'm not mm -hmm. thinking now I'm thinking in the future. So that's how that's going to affect you Virgos up until about March. Okay. And you know, it is the cuffing season. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is the cuffing season where everybody pop out of out of network. Hey, remember that time? Yeah, you know, yeah. you're like, yeah, but see you later. Yeah, you know? cause uh, y'all jotting it down with that. December nineteenth, doomsday. That's what we put right here. I'm gonna make sure <laughs> we got that, and I will mark that on the Google. Thank you. Mark that for me too, sir. It is marked. Also, doomsday. Thank you very much. Doomsday for latte. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got to get on Jennifer. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's up with Jen. So, what's happening with uh, Miss Jennifer Hudson and that particular Virgo? Yes. Need so, one of our celebrities. Yes. I noticed that Jennifer Hudson and Nas, they're both Virgos, but they also both have Libra Mercuries. Mm -hmm. And your Mercury is your thoughts, your ideas, how you communicate. So the fact that they're both celebrities, right, and they're both Virgos, they're going to be very particular about who they share their space and their energy with because Virgos are very particular and picky because they don't have time to waste and do the bullshit facade and the mm -hmm. fake. They don't have time for that. So they already have that in common. But then when they have their Mercury, how they communicate, because it's in Libra, they both are very, like, um, they're, like, smooth talkers. Libra likes to be in Mercury. Mm -hmm. Libra loves to be in Mercury. So it's all about where's the fairness. But also, I'm very likable, and I want everyone to be attracted mm -hmm. to me and like me and make me feel good. But let me do the same thing for you. There's this, like, equal give and take with the Libra Mercury. So they both have that in common, which I thought was pretty interesting. Mm. Cause she's okay. dating. Uh, I've heard word on the street that she's dating Marlon Wayans. Oh, really? That's what it? I heard. Cause they're doing a movie. They did a movie together. The That's so fun. Yeah, but that does not necessarily mean. <laughs> you know. Um, I saw some some clips. They look pretty. Uh, I'm talking, talking about outside of work. They look really comfortable. Like, yeah, okay. Well, I'm about to take your word for it. Mm, I, wow. I felt the energy. Well, I know she wants to get into directing, so I'm, I'm, I'm loving the fact that that creative vibe of hers is, is expanding into directing because that that's a, a, a tough task, uh, in a, in a very different transition from being uh in front of the camera. So kudos, Jen and okay. Marlon. I know, <laughs> I know, and he's funny. I I can kind of see that. Yeah, he's hilarious. He is hilarious. Definitely, he is. I don't know, but if I, I'll pull it up, I, I'll, uh, pull <laughs> I'll pull it up. It up. <laughs> I used to, I used to love him. coming home and watching the Wayne's Brothers yes. after school. Yeah, classic comedy. That was some classic yeah. comedy. So they paved the way for a, a lot of uh, what we see today, as far as um, uh, skit writing and that little. Uh, four to six minute block, you know, comedic mm -hmm. time. And it was just fabulous, man. The Wayne's uh, brothers definitely were forerunners for that thing. Yes. You gotta love. I had a crush on Marlon and Sean. I liked Marlon. I always knew. I was like, Sean, he's, he's a pretty boy. He was cuter than Sean. Know, he definitely he, was. He don't, <laughs> he don't date the real pretty, pretty one. The pretty ones were no. funny ones. No, I always thought yeah. Mar I was like, Marley gonna grow into his looks. I already knew. I was like, he's gonna grow into his looks. Just like Ben Viv the Vote. I didn't think Ricky Bell was all that cute, but I was like, shoot, Ricky gonna be fine in five years. Poison! He's charming, you know. Mm, he gonna grow into them looks, as my mama would say. He gonna grow into them looks. Don't be getting the finest, the finest brothers. They gonna break your heart. They gonna crush it. And now the ugly ones are crushing hearts. But that's another topic. Whole oh, other topic. Whole other topic. Whole other topic. Heart crushing. Aren't they from Boston? Not not the Wayne brothers. Belle DeVoe. Aren't they from Boston? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think they are. Yeah, they are. Are they okay? Yeah, I think they are. I think so. 
I read I read some um some tea on where yeah. they got that song Poison from and I was like, Oh, gotta take this off my Spotify yeah. now. I don't know if it's true or not, but what I, I found on the that. internet was that you know what I'm talking yeah. about or no? Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, they wrote this song about like a 14 or 15 year old girl, and they were like in their 20s and something. So I was like, mm, uh, that's uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's not that's a, like a groupie, groupie song. Uh, yeah, but they were talking about like a underage girl and mm -hmm. like I, I read some like other stuff. But I don't know if it was true or not, but I was like, mm, yep, they no, are from, they are from Boston. Okay. Okay. Boston, Massachusetts. Yep. Formed from members of the Christian. Yep. What about the origin. Oh, okay. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Then. Yep. And yes, yeah, I heard funny. about that. Okay. Yeah. I vaguely remember it, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, I, it comes back to me. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, no good. That's no good there. Um, no. I really hate that song. That and that was right <laughs> around the time when I was at Gramlin State University. Oh gosh, she's dangerous. I had to hear that. You know, hey, Red Bone, how you doing? Oh damn, she got a big button to smile. Oh god, oh, I hate that song. I hate it. That was that, that was a. <laughs> man, I was tainted by that damn song, man. That, that was I a nice song. It was over. I gotta give Jelly. They overdid it. They overdid it. Wow, because yeah, that was that was one of their tough, but that was a little edgy street song. They, they kind of, you know, it was like, oh, that, that kind of separated New Edition from BBD. It was like, okay, this is a different group. You know what I mean? I get so, it. I get it. Yeah. Well, I did post something on my um on my page. Okay. Thing about um which song needs to go, uh -huh. and it was Return the Mac, uh, Poison. Um, I said in my head poison just because of that whole thing right there. Yeah. <laughs> but why return to Mac? What? I love that song. No, it was like you had to pick four songs, you know, and it said, you know, which one oh, has to go. Return okay. to Mac, okay. Poison, This Is How We Do It. And damn, what was the other song? The Let me see. This is how we do it. Poison. And uh, and everybody kept saying, um, this is how we do it. I'm like, are you crazy? How am I? Oh, oh, right. oh, before I let go. Before I let, yeah, let go. go. That's okay. Frankie. You can't let go of Frankie. Oh, it was, oh, it was the original. Okay. Because yeah. uh, I thought it might have been uh, uh, EPMD did a, a hard sample of that back in the day. It was just rough. I love that song. It could, okay. could be that too. Original. But yeah. hey, Poison before is I let go. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Well, Jennifer's getting her thing on. Okay, that's what I like to hear. But what's uh, going on with Nas? And kids who went said Black Street. Or oh, Black Street before I, I let go. That too. That got to stay. Oh, that can never go. That can never go away. Yeah, before <laughs> I let go. Oh, yeah, the Black Street. That could be that one too. I was thinking of Frankie. Was that the one? That's what I was saying for that for that time. And I think that's yeah. probably the one they were I talking guess, about with yeah, Black it could Street. Be. Yeah, that's true. I love Black Street. I like the way you work, yeah. But I like Aaron Hall. <laughs> when Aaron Hall went went solo. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was dope. I, mm -hmm. that was dope. I was ready. I was ready for that. Okay. And okay. he did that song with Patra. But anyway, that's another. Another topic, but anyway, it's like yes. Patra, nobody can match her. Okay, inside Chuck Two off the album. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta plug it, baby. Apple Music. Um, <laughs> Scorpion, guys, why I think we crazy? Like, who these two? No, <laughs> told you, I five, I five with Virgos. See? <laughs> We I do. <laughs> no, I love Virgos. I always felt like Virgos, Scorpios, Geminis, Capricorns always got a bad breath because I just feel like people just don't understand Earth. and they don't care to. Yeah. I love Earth. I mean, because I'm a I'm a water sign. I have a lot of water in my chat, so I need that that Earth to keep yeah. me grounded yeah. while I'm being very emotional. But I'm just so like. Everything's emotions and feelings, and then you guys just bring me back to like, no, nope, come back to Earth, Juliet. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. no, I I love I love my Virgos, I really do. Good. Now, what about Nas? Because I really, you know, 
there's so many different stories about him. You know, I like the fact that he's so creative. I, don't yes. get me wrong. I I know that That's he had that a beat. Libra Mercury and like that Libra Mercury because they they need to be creative beings. They need to be so their thoughts, ideas, they have to be creative. So that has a lot to do with that right there. And then his Virgo too. His Virgos are very practical, but they're like this would be good for this and they know how to like connect the dots with like that's something i don't know how to do but i like admire it a lot so that that's where that comes from too oh. he has an aries moon so that's why he can be a little spicy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's probably why he was having problems with Khalees. like how did you mess that up but he did admit that he messed up that relationship Khalees was one of those, uh, it pisses me off though because they made such a cute couple it, that was one of my favorite couples I'm not gonna lie, I, all the time. I like yeah, it. I, really I don't do. know, Virgo man, y'all be tripping though. I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Damn. Hey, wait a minute, no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be on some trip mode, you know. Oh, and, you know he called out uh, Doja Cat. Yeah, you know, Doja Cat was being racist or whatever, and she was like, "I'm not gonna be going back and forth with Nas. I love Nas. He can talk whatever he wants, but you know." Drama, drama, drama. But anyway, it, it I, I really happen. like him. You know, it's just his name's Nasir Ben Alu Dara Jones. Nasir, that's that's a long name. Yeah, it is. You know, he said he educated himself about African culture through the five percent nation. I, I just like his creativity, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Jay Z. Don't be mad at me, Jay Z. You you cool. You you huh, You you the man, but. As a lyricist, I really think Nas got it. People used to always say, hey. who's the best? Nas or Jay-Z? Nas or Jay-Z? Yeah, because that's, cause that's like real. my soul is but, Nas. But that is real. And then, you know what? We should do this. We should have people chime in. Uh, Sean versus Nas, who's the best lyricist? Because they are both cream of the crop, top of their game. And this has been a discussion that we've been having in hip-hop for an extremely long time. I have a friend, um, he's a screenwriter, and uh, we're really close. But whenever we fall out, it's over this same topic. It rears its head at least twice a year over the past 12 oh, damn years, nice. and we won't speak for a month. So it <laughs> is really serious, you know what I mean? Yes. Chris Thomas, I'm saying your name. If you out there, <laughs> Jigga is the man. Discuss. <laughs> nah, I'll talk to you in October. <laughs> uh, he's a talented I think dude, Nas, but. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, you know, maybe because he's a Virgo, I'm tripping, but I, I don't be, know. It <laughs> maybe that's what it is. I don't it could know, be Virgo but... bias. It could be. It could be. Hey. I don't know. No, but he's a fabulous lyricist. I'm not going to take anything yeah, away from him. Yeah, there's something about him. I kind of felt like, put it this way, Jay-Z is a very smart businessman. Mm. He's very smart. He knows what he's doing. He's a Sag. Sagittarius is a very smart and like, yep. yeah. You know. So that has a lot to do with that right there. I'm sad and then he Virgo. married Virgo, so she knows where to direct him. And this this is how you need to do it. And you need to do this and this. So yep. yeah. Yep. He got Beyonce on his side. Oh. You know? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And she's got that Scorpio moon. So that makes her very like, I'm in charge. I have power. Wow. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. Queen B. Queen B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's happening with the uh you said something about the roasters? What what are we going what, what what's happening with our roaster sponsorship? What's going down with that? I, you know, I, I you know, I reached out, I posted tag a roaster, which they have done. Oh. I don't know if they've read that um I need for them to send me an email so that I can buy some coffee. I'm like my bag of coffee beans are like this low. So oh, I think maybe for good two cups. So if if uh -uh. they don't send me any kind of information or at least reach out to me because th this is a great way of networking. Um, this is a great opportunity for us to like, because we like coffee yes. and we can talk about their coffee. Once they, you know, email me, I buy a bag, we taste it, we talk about it. I'll post it on my page, give you guys some advertisement. I mean, that's, I'm not asking for much. I'm paying no. for it in advertising. Like, I need some coffee, y'all. 
Look, and if anybody knows any local rosters in your area, please reach out to them, uh, pass on this message and the information, because we are definitely looking to uh, try to help, one, we want to stimulate small businesses in the communities, right? Mm -hmm. Two, we love coffee. Uh, and three, we love coffee. So we want to <laughs> make sure <laughs> ready for that. You know, let's get it cracking. I love Starbucks. I, um, they got enough dough. Exactly. I actually have um, my friend. She's my neighbor and my friend, but she works. She doesn't run the coffee shop, but she works at. I mean, I know I'm in Rhode Island, yeah, but that's fine. it's a this small local where? coffee shop. Right. Okay. Yeah. They, so their coffee is really good. Oh, yeah. So I think I and I know you being a Virgo and you being like I'm the coffee queen. I think you would like their coffee because it's strong and they have a bunch of different like fall flavors, winter flavors. They, they do. Oh, yes. They've been local. They're like a local company. They've been there for I guess a long time. I don't know. I've only been around for four years, but I know they've been around for a long time. And oh, she works yeah. there. And I talked to her to see because I know they do shipments at like some like supermarkets out here that like specifically buy only from them. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I just want if you and wanted I could that, um we need that coffee while we jam into some independent artist music. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. I'm your walking billboard of promo advertisement. You guys better reach out. I mean Most I may definitely. not be like a uh what do you call those uh like um doing playlists. Oh if you guys are like sending your music and you want to be on a playlist, that's great. But your music on my playlist will be played. Yeah. Right. On yeah, Twitter. Along with me holding, what's your friend's name that has the coffee from? Her name's Callie. Kelly? What's the name? What's the name of her coffee? Does it have a name? I forgot the name. Well, oh, the Whatever her name is, when I get that coffee, <laughs> whatever her name is, I'll be drinking Kelly's coffee. <laughs> I'm not good with names. I'm terrible with names. I remember like random things, but names I'm not. I'm... Right? No, I'm the same way. Names, not so much. I never forget faces, though. Never Look, forget. Faces. I can't forget a name. <laughs> I I'll remember because usually when I meet someone I'll be like when's your birthday do you know what time you're oh and I'm that like I get I'm it weird. and that makes sense but I remember that's the one thing I won't forget it's I'll be like oh numbers. I remember yeah right. this is I wish I was good with numbers but right. I'm like shit I forgot my name like my uh my gynecologist I forgot her name but I went to go see her <laughs> and I was like I don't want to be a name but I know you're a Gemini and she <laughs> was like ha like. <laughs> She's like, what? And she's like, you know, <laughs> open up. <No. laughs> you're, you're, you're literally passing me around. I know that you're Gemini. Don't remember your name, Don. Right. <laughs> I don't know your name, but Dr. Gemini. <laughs> that is yeah. hilarious. Oh, that is hilarious. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, it's man. true, too. <laughs> Now, now she got me thinking. I'm like, when I go to the eye doctor, I know. <laughs> what is uh, I can't remember. Oh, you know what? Speaking of like, speaking of like doctors and stuff too, because you guys are Virgos. Virgos usually make the best doctors because they pay so close attention to detail yes. and being that perfection. They make like really good surgeons, doctors, stuff like that. Yes. So, yeah. Yes, I thought about becoming a doctor once. Really? Now I'm not a doctor, <laughs> although I have played one on several programs. You, know? <laughs> you played a doctor before, Charles? Yeah, yeah. Just got to do shoot a commercial. While I'm a doctor, as a matter of fact, too. So, oh wow, oh, that's but cool. Listen, my bedside manner, awful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't right. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, man. Somebody got us like these two Virgo, these two nutcases. This is what happened when you overdose on coffee. That is it, right? That's right. Kids to listen. Teachers, too. 30 plus Teachers years. Too. Okay. Yes. Virgos are excellent teachers. My, um, my father, he's not a teacher, but I always felt like he was like my personal teacher, and he's a Virgo. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. See? And then teacher. on my exes, they taught me what not to be with, so there's that too. There that you go. Was independent learning. <laughs> independent okay. learning. That's right. 
Exactly. <laughs> As my mother would say, hey, you won't do that again, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Independent you know, learning. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you that know, is funny. like with my daughter, I don't think I, I'm not strict, but I always made her feel like she was making all her decisions, even though I was kind of like doing it. But I always allowed her to have her own voice. And then it got to the point that now that she's an adult, she wants me to tell her what to do. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm yeah. confused. And yeah. I don't know. But you know what? That's that growing pains. You know, she's 21 and she's trying to figure out herself. And, and I, you know, hey, it is what it is, though. And, you know, she gets a little pissed off at me because right. I'm not serious. Like, I think it's the nerves because she's my only child and she'll ask me certain things. And I have to make a joke out of it because uh -huh. I don't know how to answer it, especially if it's anything that's like sex or if we're yeah. watching a movie and it's too intense. I'm like, oh, did you hear about so and so? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's well, look, funny. in the meantime, just enjoy telling her what to do. You know what I'm saying? Just yes. revel in <laughs> that alone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, thank you, Scorpion Goddess, for coming yes. through. We're going to need for you to come back again, though. Oh, yes, we, we do. Will. Yes. She because, has given me so much yeah. insight. And please tell everyone where you are. Oh, yes. And, you know, where they can okay. find you. So um, all of, actually, I have a link to my stuff in my bio, but you can find me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> and I have an Etsy shop. So, um, and if you'd like to book a uh, reading with me right now, I'm offering tarot readings only. I'm closed for chat readings and stuff like that, but to see like free content and stuff like that, to learn about like your own stuff or just to see like free readings of what's, what's happening what's the general, you know, energy and stuff. I do uh, YouTube stuff. And like I said, the links in my bio for all that. And I'm coming out with some new products as well. Um, because we're coming around to the holidays. So if you're interested in like having somewhere to store your tarot cards, your crystals, your potions, stuff like that, I'm going to be coming out with these, um, their tarot boxes, but they're going to be personalized. Ooh. I haven't made, I haven't figured everything out yet, but this is something that's going to be coming up within the next two weeks, which actually I'm really excited oh. about. Nice. Let me know. Um, okay. And if you're interested too, in like getting any like, smoke tools and stuff like that i do make sure that i get everything that's been um ethically and sustainably sourced before i resell it myself mm -hmm. so i do have ch palo santo i have uh selenite i have tourmaline i have some different crystals and stuff like that in my etsy shop and if you guys are interested you can find the link which is located in my instagram bio and i'm sure you guys can find me just from the live <laughs> You know, oh, yeah. you know that sage <laughs> necklace that you sent me? Remember when I bought Oh, the it? protection potion, yeah, the right? the protection. I, I used to I have it. money spells and all that stuff on my site as well, too. So yeah. that's another thing. Oh, I, nice. You know, I wore that thing. It was so crazy. And this was at my, my old job that I worked. And I wore that necklace. And I'm telling you, the energy that I felt from a particular person, and I was, I, I was, I had, it was questionable, but when I wore that necklace, that person automatically just seemed to like back away from me. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's yeah, that's and it changed my life. It wow. really did. Wow. It changed my life for real, for real. And then I end up working somewhere else that's way better. Yeah. That's amazing. That is. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, grab a little something because I you hope to get some, uh, I want to stay Here away. I got a it was a cats. I want to wear it to get the, rid of the cats around my house. Stray cats. Oh my I love cats. You like cats? I love cats. I've been man, I've been attacked by nothing but cats. That means there's something up with you that they don't like. That's what I'm saying. I wonder, is it fear? I feel like cats are like, they're very spiritual and they're so intuitive. Yeah, that's that's what I was cats. reading. So what yeah. is that? Like, what's wrong with me where, like, they, I mean. I don't know. What is wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I literally was on set shooting a film. A cat walked up to me. It's 20 people. It walked up to me. We're outside. It comes in, and I was scared. And it came and sat on my lap. And I'm like, what the hell? 
and I just start oh. petting it. Everybody's like, oh, and I'm like, well, they don't even know, man. I'm like totally scared of cats, mice, and horses, scared. So I'm petting it, and just out of like the blue, after 90 seconds, it just turns and <laughs> rakes my freaking face. I'm bleeding, and it just walked off. So what's that about? Catitude. Maybe it was <laughs> overstimulated. Catitude. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Catitude. <laughs> I don't want to get any mail from any cat owners. Listen, I don't hate cats. I'm scared of cats. That's it. I'm just scared. I've had cats, you know, before in my life. I'm just, it's something in the past three or four years, man. It, I don't know what it is. I got to work it out. But, wow. but Yeah. They are uh, something, something, something. I don't know. But anyway. I say you should look into your natal chat and see what's been going on. Because maybe, because the big planets like Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, mm -hmm. and Pluto, they move really slow. So they'll stay somewhere for a few years. So maybe uh -huh. you got something that's been in some place for like the past four years wow. where... No, oh, you've been trying to figure some shit out, and the cat was like, "I, I, I see this right here. I don't know. I don't know." You said my natal what? Uh, your it's you can say your birth chat or your natal chat. It's the same thing. But if you just go on Google and look up birth chat, there'll be different things like astrology cafe. Um, I use Astro Deity when I do my charts because they're the most accurate. So, okay. like when I do, do you, do you charge stuff. for that and how much for? Oh yeah. Well, right now I'm not open for okay. for uh, natal chart readings. I am doing tarot only. Okay. Um, okay. My tarot readings I charge forty four dollars and forty four cents. Okay. And they last anywhere from twenty to forty five minutes, depending on how much information the cards give me. Okay. And I read for most people. I've only had a like, you know, just because I'm a reader doesn't mean I'll read for anyone because some people's energy, I just don't fuck with and I will not read for them. Wow. So. Okay. So she, she uh, accepts, reserves okay. the right to refuse. I dig. Hmm. I dig. That's right. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. But most most people that do, like, reach out and come to me are the, it's the right person. That's just, they're naturally like, oh, this person, I want them to give me the reading. I never go out and ask people or offer readings. They, mm -hmm. I don't know. And that's just like something that's out there. If you guys are ever looking for reading and someone reaches out to you and is like, I see your future. Your ancestors are blah. Yep. Bullshit. It's Got scam. It. Don't fall for that if you ever get like messages or anything like that. Because readers, we won't do that. We will not message you, DM you, mm -hmm. try and feed up on the, there's a demon following you around. That's all bullshit. Thank They're just trying to get my If that ever happens, don't listen to it. Sweet. I hope everybody hears that. Yeah. This is why I go to Scorpion Goddess. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Woo -woo. Oh, that and it happened to me. I wanted to say, too, because like, you were talking about the protection potion. That's one thing that I like to do when I do have, like, my, like, magical tools or spells or potions that I do online. I always do a form of, like, protection versus doing, like, hexes or any, like, thing like that. I don't do that kind of work because I don't see the point in it because if you're trying to hurt somebody else, you should be more focused on how can I protect myself because it goes back into looking and finding whatever the source is. You're going to find it in you, not the outside of you. Right on. Right on. This has been such a pleasure. You're yeah. super duper. Hey, cool. I'm glad you guys had me. I about you so much. I was like, oh my God, get to meet him. Yeah. Cool. Here we am. Good deal. Well, <laughs> Good girl, deal. thank you for coming through. Yes. Yeah, yeah thanks for having back. me. Yes. If you guys ever want to have me back again, let me know. I'd oh, love yeah. to do this. Like yes. A lot of fun. Yeah. We're gonna have to come yeah. have you come on back and enjoy a nice cup of coffee uh from the Rhode Island. Okay. Roadster. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll tea, pass on. You like, don't have to like you don't have to like coffee. You know I like I like both. She likes both, see? And then She's I can like, yeah. also oh, update like her on my cat situation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. Is she it's, just, um, my Instagram, yeah. I'll just type yeah. it in here real quick. Everybody know. So. Sweet. Sweet deal. Yeah. Okay, I just sent my own. Bye, yeah, so there we go. <clears throat> click on that from there. And I don't know if you're going to post. Do you, like, um, post your lives on your yep. feed afterwards? Yep. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'll be tagged in that then, too. So and then Ooh. I can share it in my stories and all that. Yes. Sounds yeah. like a plan. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. 
So thank you, girl. Thank you. you know, I'll be, you know, contacting you real soon. Yeah, and um, let me know if you're interested, because then I can just message Callie and then give you guys, yes. like, each other's info and go from there. Oh, that would be And then you will have, like, a distributor, or you can just try out a pack of coffee, see how you like it, you know, exactly. go from there. Yep. Okay. Sounds that like a plan. So All right. Clean. Thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun, and I will see you guys another time. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I don't know why I like saying that. Bye. I say that to my friends at work all the time. Man, Bye. My daughter says that all the time. It's I cute. don't know what. Yes. Bye. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good deal good yeah deal. man i love it i love it so we got to get yeah. on these coffee roasters yeah, i'm going to um do the tag of roaster and then i'm going to do a voice okay. i think now with technology people don't like to read I i'm no. starting to think that i think people want to see you and they rather listen it's more yeah. more audio i guess so and, and that's all good yeah and that's yeah. fine yep yeah. so you know i gotta learn everybody's love language Yes, I want. Yeah, you know, it's four of them. I forget no, which one. Five. five of them. Yes, we oh, need yeah. to start talking about the love language. Okay, so maybe uh, we'll have a little time next week to uh, maybe touch on love languages. I definitely want to do this for any of my hip hop folk out there or just uh, casual listeners. She's working. Yeah, she, she's working. Rebecca, my sister, is always grinding it out. Always <laughs> grinding, baby. She's a hard worker. Rebecca, more <laughs> coffee, I told you. <laughs> Interns are fun to work with. They really are. Because we, we know true there. We know true. Anywho, uh, I want you all to chime in with Latte and myself. Just prep yourself next week. Jay-Z or Nas? Oh, as a yeah. lyricist. Okay, I would say it won't, it won't get to the point where I'm like, I don't want to talk to you for a whole month. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But it's, but it's close. It's going to get close. Is that what you're saying? No, no. Okay, okay. Basically like my work husband, I, you know. Right, right. We can't, we no. can't break up. No divorce we here. We can't break up. Saying. So, you know, I can't oh, do it. Kids to Lynn is like Nas nah, straight out the gate. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. She <laughs> said Nas. Nah. Okay. So we got to come with some hot... We were supposed to talk about Travis Scott. Shit. We were. Next week, Travis Scott... Because uh, we do want to update on that and just uh, also opinions on what you guys think about maybe uh, going to concerts or some of your relatives going to some of these concerts. Travis Scott on the books next time. Coffee Roasters next time. We're going to have a blast. Exactly. It's the Virgo morning. What you thinking? I, you know what? I'm thinking something else. Maybe independent artists. And I haven't forgot Caffeinated Pimp. But Caffeinated oh. Pimp said that, you know what? He's on tour with Cat Williams. Did you know that Cat Williams is a Virgo? Yes, you did tell me Cat is yes. a Virgo, and now He's I even like him more. I like yes, him more. yes. Okay. So we will be Pimp here will be. Caffeinated Pimp sometime next in month. In January. January. Come more in January, yes. He says that, you know, all the great things, you know, coming out in January, you know, we got the international podcast yeah. coming out. We got Rosie Perspective. Oh, I can't, I can't forget this. You guys need to tune in to Too Much Game podcast. And my girl Rosie, the Rosie uh, Perspective, yes. on www.latejavajips.radio, they will be um, doing their thing during the uh, Thanksgiving holidays. So you know, you guys can stay tuned. And if you guys want to be on my podcast, you know, hook a sister up, call a sister. Hey, let her know. She will bring me a bag of coffee, you know, to convince to get on it. And then um, yeah. it's it free, things. so free trial. So if you like it and you want to be part of it. Y'all better jump on it. So Get on it. You know what I'm saying? It. All right. And you know, you know, you know how I love my music. And you know, you know, I have to play. My independent artist. Oh, 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 I got to tell you something. So talk to me. I'll talk work, back. Right? There was this African guy, right? This patient, right? I shouldn't be saying this, but it was so funny, though. It was hilarious. And now, this is eye surgery, all right? So, dang, I can't remember his name. He couldn't speak English, and, you know, surgery, and it was the end of surgery, and the nurse was patching his eye up, right? So, every time she was trying to get him to, you know, keep his head in position, uh -huh. and I'm, you know, assisting, and I'm moving, and he keep moving his head. 
looking over at me. Oh. And every time I moved, he kept going. So the nurse goes, Lisa can't keep his head still. <laughs> he keeps looking at you. And I was like, he sensed royalty. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he knows the queen is in the room. I thought you knew, boo. There we go. No. Let it be known. He, he speaks Swahili. I'm like, he knows. Oh, yeah. Queen. OK, OK. The queen is in the building. That's, That's why the he keeps You right. know, you know was, he was, couldn't was, see that well. But gravitational. It was going towards, uh, like a compass facing north to royalty yes. and exquisiteness. Yes. <laughs> Don't do that yes. Don't do that yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's been a blast. You know what I mean? So uh hey, hey. I might invite him on to, to uh to Virgo morning. You might as well do that. Ain't so no, ain't no the point in not shots. doing it. Let him let him come on. It's a matter of fact. I think in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna do a little uh psychosocial therapy, kind of work out my thing. Uh, this fear of uh, cats, mice, and horses, man. I got to jump on that. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to let everybody know how that's going. You know, I'm going to let everybody know how that's going. But, uh, yeah, cats scare the living crap out of me, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man. And you know what scares me and I'm allergic to? What? No good-ass men. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> you know, let me be great. I don't need no negativity. What's cracking, okay. Tammy? Yeah, most definitely. Okay, well, listen, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, All right. And look, till the next time. Till next time. And Take how you brewing? I'm brewing absolutely fabuloso. Till next time. Woo! Woo! Hit, 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 hit. hit. I'm playing this what? on my playlist. What? Hey. Yes. I'm just, I'm so proud that they're getting the recognition that they deserve. And yeah. this young man, this independent artist, I, I have a good feeling. You do have a good vibe. I don't know. I just have a good feeling. He's going to make it. Yeah. I wish is. I had the time to be his manager. I so would manage him, but I don't have time. But I will definitely help him. I've already sent some of his music to other DJs and yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. Most definitely. So, until right. next time, you guys, we got to go. Get up, get out, get at us. Okay. Y'all be safe. All right. One love, one thug, baby. <laughs> one love, one thug. <laughs> Bye. <Peace. me. laughs>